greetings. Hey, my aunt to tell. Well, I should say. Uh, and I am wearing my International Students Association Executive Committee shirt because we're working. Yeah, I got to do the two deeds today. Um, this is going to be, uh, I think, one, one, one of the um, uh, minor last uh, um, commentaries things that deals with uh, uh, President um, Donald J. Uh, Trump, who is the President of the United States. I've been asked a lot about that. I posted before, but I'm not, this, this particular um, uh, presidency, I'm not going to make a whole bunch of commentary on, but I will make this last or um, um, major thing, of course, I have to comment sometimes. I'm, my lane is really going to be where I'm here in, in, in Africa, I'm talking about things African and more global. As in, of course, everything relates to, to the United States of North America, so I will be talking a little bit about that in, in the months to come, well, if there are any more months. Um, everybody is asking, oh, don't you whatever, react to Trump and fearing Trump or whatever have you. That is not particularly my uh, concern. Uh, I have a bigger concern. Uh, or bigger concerns. Uh, my, it's not fear, but my concern uh, about the presidency of, of, of Donald Trump has to do not with him exactly because he's carrying out, he's like a super, well, he's a capitalist, you know, he's a super capitalist, a businessman, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, capital, they like to, you know, make money. Um, but it's interesting because he's now put, he's like this cap just put on the head of this uh, Republican um, uh, momentum that's been going, uh, I guess even beyond Nixon, it started with Goldwater, I guess, this, this Republican agenda, and they started with all these, um, what's, what's called these um, think tanks and stuff like that, and they come up with certain schemes. Now, um, if you look back in, 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 in history, I mean, if you, if you amalgamate uh, the Hilarion movement and the Mussolini movement together, that's sort of, you, you get an idea. I mentioned Huey Long in another commentary, that's sort of idea. But it's, it's, it's sort of new because um, uh, you have forces that are trying, within, that's trying to, to stop this, uh, which you didn't have in Italy, you didn't really have a I mean, momentum that you didn't have in Germany, really. But I don't think people understand. I think what's happening is um, uh, Trump, uh, what he's doing and what, what the Republican agenda has been, he's now, the, like I said, the disembodied head put on to the agenda like a Frankenstein monster, um, is that they always want to, um, I won't say get rid of government, but they want a government just to deal with military and basically infrastructure. Um, infrastructure, now remember, I talk about Republicans, now Eisenhower still Republican, but remember he was a general. When he came back, I think it was the warning about the military industrial complex, I got you. Um, but when he, what he learned from his, his war experience in World War II was that when the Germans did build those roads, those, those highways, when he came back, he realized we needed an infrastructure, but it was a military kind of thing to get military vehicles down these broad highways, you know, like tanks and stuff like that, big vehicles. So from, from the 50s, right through the 60s, a big boom about infrastructure again, they built it so that built so that basic military vehicles could, could get to any in the area of, well, you know, most cities in the United States. At the same time, uh, um, um, if, you, if you really look at it, let's go back to the Roman Empire, you know, they were military, they didn't, they basically they conquered and, and bring spoils back or whatever, whatever it is. Well, the thing is, uh, if Republicans get rid of all these other kind of programs and just deal with the military and infrastructure, infrastructure giving people's jobs, military to protect interests, uh, well, well, for the, to, to make sure the citizens' reads stays in, 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 in line, and also for military adventures abroad, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, so once that happens, then that's it. So they don't need any other kinds of uh, programs. Um, uh, so my biggest thing, but, but Trump is not Trump, but it's his Vice President Pence. Pence is thoroughly in that momentum. Trump is just, like I said, a, a disembodied head that was put onto that, that body. So the biggest problem is not Trump, that's not the biggest fear, it is actually the Vice President Pence. This guy, sort of, and if you notice that, uh, that, that uh, Trump is surrounded with a lot of generals, you have to figure out who's picking those generals, you know? Just like Obama had the bankers around him, and they had City Corp or whatever, pick those bankers. So you have to look who's picking the bankers, the general's general, so Barack, was, Barack Obama was the bankers. Um, 
Donald Trump is bankers and also people who want to dismantle certain programs that, you know, that they're not interested in. So there's the biggest problem and, and we have to deal with that. Um, there's one more thing that we should oh, stay on the military and going abroad. We have we had a devastating blow with, with um, um, our president, uh, the brother president, uh, Barack Hussein Obama, because what he did, as I mentioned in another um, uh, commentary, and I'll try to list it, uh, he basically brought in the military, the military presence in the continent of Africa, let's call it the, res the mother continent, the resource continent. So basically the United States military is all over Africa for, and they can get resources anytime they want. Think about that. Uh, and that's the doing of, of Obama and also the other thing Obama getting rid of habeas corpus and a bunch of other things. So Donald Trump can now uh, take those programs that he, had, that he put in place or, or that expanded and he can use that in his arsenal of, of doing stuff. So there's, there's the biggest problem. Now, uh, I guess one more thing I just need to say, people, I don't want to leave people hopeless or whatever. You have to do something. My, my thing is since I'm on the continent of Africa, I have to do stuff here and it's going to be a long, long road. And when I say stuff here, commentary and, and alert people like, like I said, look, I'm the International Students Association Executive Committee. So uh, international students have to deal with that and, and change people's minds because this is not a physical thing. This is this is a mental thing. We have to change our minds and our way of, of working. And certainly, it's not to react to everything that that the dollar and his boys do. That's not going to do it. We have to have our own program. I think the most significant uh, protest that's happening right now is actually, um, um, interestingly enough, the uh, the the. the uh, the, the water defenders, the, 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 the people with that, that XL pipeline, pipeline in, in the Dakotas or wherever it is in the, in the, in the, in the west of, of the United States, um, you know, the, making sure the water doesn't get polluted, um, uh, that these pipelines, that the fossil fuel is dead anyway. So you know what they're trying to do is just poison, poison the, the, the ground so they can have those grounds. Because not only water goes to those grounds, remember if they have those grounds, there's minerals that, that, that go to the grounds for the, to further um, um, deal with what they have to deal with. So I think the best thing to do, and I heard somebody on the radio, I think maybe I, I should, I think it's the Carl Nelson show comes out. Sometimes I tune into him um, dealing, that can make this, uh, that can really shed light on all this stuff, which is another reason why I don't have to make commentary on what's happening in the United States, because there's plenty of people to do that. You just have to find the right people to get your information from. Um, um, but he was talking about, and I agree, and I said it in another, not in a commentary, but in a, in a you know, what do you call that? Oh, um, uh, uh, well, commentary on on something that was posted, and I say, well, we everybody needs to deal with the, those first defenders that are over there defending the water, because that it's, that is it's like you're you're going into Indian battles, you know, when they, when, when the United States took over, when the, you know the colonialists. Uh, Took over all the colonists, colonists took over the United States, and they beat up on all the Indians and took their lands. And then every time you move them, they found some other resource and some other land. Every time they move them, well, that's the first thing. Everybody needs to. That's the biggest protest. Everybody needs to go there. The other protest, or the other thing, to do is get these brothers out of jail. There's too many people in jail. Our brothers and sisters need to be released from these prisons because that's your that's your troops. Um, so that's my advice. Uh, and. Uh, uh, well, God speak to us all, uh, including especially me, T, from the Patterson, staying returned to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.